Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory and honours belongeth to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Wahavaka Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai. And double honours to the elder apostles of Great Most on that teach this truth well and that continue to teach this truth well. And to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning. This lesson is going to be called A Lukewarm Servant is an Evil and Wicked Servant. Point blank period. Most men... They went AWOL. They're nowhere to be seen. And that's this is this is what happens. The Lord, what does he do? He spews out what? Lukewarm men. The process has already begun. And this is spiritual, because what is it? Shortly after the Passover, which there's still a spring cleaning going on. So that spring cleaning is happening right now. But men, they're not observing. Let's quickly go to Luke. So like not Luke. Bear me just a minute. Lukewarm. Revelations 3 and 16. Yahweh Shai ain't playing about. This is Revelations 3 and 15. I know thy works. Yahweh Shai knows every man's works. What he's done. The effort he's made. He already knows. Because he knows the minds of men. That, that are neither cold nor hot. So you're, you're, you're neither cold nor hot. You know. You're in between. You're on the fence. Okay, I would thou would thou cold, I would thou wert cold or hot. So Yahweh is saying, you have a one or the other. You have an in or you're out. You're out in the world. Because there ain't such thing as, as uh, I'm, I'm, I'm one foot in the world, one foot in the truth. That means you're, if, you're, if you've got one foot in the world, that means you're not in the truth. Okay, so then because they are lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. And you don't like nothing. Nobody likes anything that's lukewarm. Nobody likes nothing that's lukewarm. Especially if you're eating some food. You don't. You want it piping. You want it hot. You don't want it lukewarm. You go to a restaurant. You want your food hot. Okay. You don't want it lukewarm. You don't want it. You know. So this is how Yahweh sees particular men that are not doing anything with this word. It's. I, it's I always say it's always the same faces I see, and mostly is the apostles of Great Millstone. And a few other brothers. And I can't even say a handful. Okay. And by the way. To those individuals that don't want to be spiritual. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. To the men that are carnal. That just think. Oh no it's just men saying it. Time and time and time again. Yahweh Shai is speaking through his men. So, that, so because they are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. You're going to be spat out. You're going to be spat out. Spewed out. Okay? Because the Lord, he's not accepting that. That's not a reasonable sacrifice. Let's quickly go into that word lukewarm. Clearas. Tepid. So you, it's an individual that has a tepid spirit. Lukewarm. Okay. Metaphor of the condition of the soul. Wretchedly fluctuating between a tapo of father of love. So when it comes to the weekend, you act like you're on fire. But for the rest of the week, you sound you got men. I've got to switch off. Some videos I have to switch off after of after two or three minutes. Because that lukewarm spirit is contagious and that's the spirit, that's, it's a demon. It's a demon, that's what you have to acknowledge. It's a see now, men are doing videos sounding see now. I can't watch videos like that because that spirit can hop on you. It can because it's contagious. Okay, a tepid, a lukewarm spirit. Okay, so you don't really, it's someone who doesn't really love this truth. Okay, it's someone who don't really fear. Okay. Because you can point at the next man, but what are you doing? You can talk shit, you can point out the mistakes of this man, but what are you doing? What are you doing to serve Yahweh Shai? Are you doing anything? So the Lord's looking for those that what are fervent for him. Matthew 6 and 24, Baba Kisha. This 
This is Matthew 6 and 24. No man can... Bear me just a minute. Let's get straight to verse 23. But if that eye be evil, the whole body shall be full of darkness. We run into this. We go into this several times. So how is one's... And that word for eye, it's not your eyes that you look from. It's your mind. Okay? The whole body shall be full of darkness. So your whole body, there's going to be a darkness to it. Because it starts within the mind. The moment you take your mind off this truth and go back into the world, your whole body's going to be full of darkness. Okay, and the darkness is this world because this, this is it. The elect are going to overcome this world, not the other way around. The elect are not going to be overcome by the world. The elect are going to overcome this world through Yahweh Shai. Why? Because they were focused on the mission at hand, at the purpose, on salvation. Okay, that's the difference between the elect and the non elect. Okay. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? So that must be a, that little light, that wisdom that you have turns into darkness. How great is that darkness? That means that darkness has overcome the light. So that means that must be a great, great darkness, which is this world. Stay occupied. It doesn't mean you're going to, and again, it doesn't mean you're going to be doing a video every single day. It does not mean that. But it does mean you're going to be doing what, whatever you were given according to your measure. So if you were given a measure, you were caught in this truth and, and, and you know scriptures, then it's, that's for you to connect them to norms in your head, in your brain, and say, look, there's work to be done because one man can't do it all. Okay? Verse 24, no man can serve two masters, you know, for either we hate the one and love the other because more, more individuals, they're more focused on money. A lot of men also got that money demon on them. That's why the script says, watch out for a covetous man. Oh, I need to go now. I need to go to work now. You've got men that would do that. They'd dip out. They can do overtime for Esau. They can do as much hours for Esau. Yeah, yeah, I need to get this money. But what about the work of the Lord Yahweh Shai? Because I always say, when Yahweh Shai comes back, he's not going to ask you how much overtime you were doing for Esau. That doesn't matter. He's going to know what you were doing for him. Okay? There's going to be no excuses. None. So no man can serve two masters. Okay, so who's our master? Yahweh Shai. And who's the master of this world, this current world? Because the scriptures say in Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked Esau. Okay? For evil he would hate the one and love the other. This is an example of an individual being lukewarm on the fence. I don't really know. I've got opportunities, I've got careers, I've got this, you know. That's of the world. That's, the, that's, a, that's a low mentality. This truth comes first. And I've always put this out to brothers. Before you go out, before you do anything, try and do a lesson and see how your day goes. Before you leave, try and do a lesson. If you get lunchtime breaks, you brothers that have the lunchtime breaks, I know it's not that long. It used to be an hour. Sometimes it's 30, what, going down to 30 minutes. Do a lesson. All these things help. And Yahweh Shai, that's how he increases some of his men because they've always been focused on him. How do you expect him to care about you if you don't care about him? And that's why I mean what? They get spewed out. The spirit is no longer there. The spirit goes right out the back door. Then they start sounding that uh, Master P. Mm. That's how they start sounding. That's why you can't watch everybody. You've got to filter things through the spirit. Because if you follow these men, you're going to be in the same spirit. So you have to identify these things and this is what a small admonition for brothers that may be slacking because sometimes that's, that's not always the case sometimes you have your moments where you need brothers to tell you so for those brothers don't take this seriously for the brothers that are sincere but those that are de those that are demons are not sincere they're going to take this person but that's where that filter comes okay that's where that filtering is the elect are going to take heed the elect are not going to be easily offended but those that are emotional faggots and emotional they're going to get offended and they're going to be spewed out anyway because they don't want to take heed because pe people look at this oh it's just man it's Yahweh Shai speaking okay or well, he will hate the one and love the other or else he would hold to the one and despise the other you know what that's called being partial being double minded and the scripture says a double minded man is unstable in all his ways and that's going to be everything with, with everything you do next thing you start um 
you know, crushing in, crushing in the names. Next thing you start, what, joining different camps. You're going to be double-minded in the mind. Next thing you're going to start teaching different doctrines. So it all begins with you being lukewarm. And once an individual's lukewarm and he stays lukewarm, that means he's double-minded. He can't make up his mind. You become like a, a, a woman, feminine. Because to be lukewarm, it means you don't believe. You see what I mean? And despise the other. You cannot serve the Most High and Mammon. You can't serve both of them. You've got to pick one over the other. Okay? You're either for this truth or you're not for the truth. And we're at that time. These are the last days. So it's being seen who really believes. Me, I can see. I can observe and say, yep, this individual believes. This individual believes. This individual, he doesn't believe. He doesn't. Yes, I can see. I can see clearly. Why? Because Yahweh Shai, what? He's given some of these men discernment to see who really believes. Okay? You want to be around men that are on fire, not flipping lukewarm. That are really about getting out of this kingdom. Because this is not our rest. So we're done with that, Baba Kishar. So now we're going to go to Proverbs 20 and 27, Baba Kishar. And we're not saying that. In no way am I saying, look, ah, everybody's going to be on the same level. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. And in, anyway, I shouldn't even need to, to explain this. Those of you that have been called into the truth, that have talents, because once you're called into the truth, it's Yahweh that gives you talents. The talents have been given. Yahweh gave me them talents, so I acknowledge that and I use it. So once you've been called into the truth, there's no excuses. You've got to use whatever you've been given. There's brothers that are talented in this truth, hella talented, but they're not using it. And that's what's upsetting. Okay, let's go to Proverbs 20 and 27. Bear me just a minute, bear me just a minute. 20, 27. And it says, The spirit of a man is the candle of the, the spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord Yahweh Shai. So, <laughs> this is a man with, the, with what? The Holy Spirit. Okay, of a, the spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord. And what's a candle? It's a light. Okay, so you have particular men on this earth, okay, searching all the inward parts of the belly. Okay, so the spirit of a man is, of the, is, is the candle of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, searching all the inward parts of the belly. So there's men that are being used by it through Yahweh Shai to search out other men. Now, no, not no spying thing, because you may. You may be interested, you may go on a brother's page to see is there any edification. He might not have done nothing for a week, five days, so you get bored, you don't watch him anymore. So what what do you do? You mark that man and say, Yep, okay. This is this 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 is a luke in lukewarm individual here. So there is men that have been set up to search out what the inner parts of the belly. What's the belly? The mind. <laughs> okay. It's not a personal thing. We don't, we don't get up, oh, um, whose who's video am I going to watch? Let me see if he's on fire. No. It's, it's naturally. Yahweh Shai speaks through us. And the spiritual man's going to take heed. He's not going to get emotional. He's not going to say, oh, who are you? Who are you to say oh, you're lukewarm? You're not God. Well, the scripture says in your law, don't you say you are God? So you're cutting yourself. The elder apostles constantly do videos upon this. Some men are, you've got some, a very... Not even some, a few men that are hot and the rest are really, really, really cold. Really cold. Okay. So let's go to Jeremiah because this correlates with, not Jeremiah, Zephaniah. Mother Kishore. All, all I want is the best for the brothers that are sincere in the truth. That's why I have to do lessons like this. It's not personal. I want the best for my brothers, man. And I've seen what happens when individuals are lukewarm. I've seen what happens when you go days and days and it gets to weeks on end without doing it. I've seen it. I don't want my brothers to fall into that same trap. And when I'm talking about brothers, I'm talking about those that are sincere. Zephaniah 1 and 10. And it shall come to pass in that day to say of the Lord Jehovah Shai that there shall be... Wrong one. Verse 12. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem. So Jerusalem what is a people but before it's a place. With candles. So Jerusalem is being what? Searched with candles. Jerusalem is what? The children of Israel being searched with candles. And what are them candles? It's the spirit of man. <laughs> okay. You know? 
and them candles also represent the angels because the angels are watching everything so if you think you're just gonna hide oh hide in my room i'm not gonna do no videos i'm not gonna show my face bro you can't hide from your habashai and punish the men that are settled on their lees what does that mean settled on their lees comfortable those that have got their feet up okay that say in their heart, and that word for heart is mind love. So you have men saying in their heart, the Lord will do no good, neither will he do evil. So these are men that don't fear Yahweh Shai. Okay? And these same men that don't fear Yahweh Shai, they have the nerve to get up on camera, okay, and do videos on other men that are actually sincere, that are actually giving it their all every single day. Not just going through the motions that are sincere. They have the nerve to come up against men that are sincere. So what's going to happen to men like this? These men are going to get destroyed. Because once you're spewed out, what, what are you left to? And what does it mean to be spewed out? That means the Holy Spirit is no longer dwelling with you. So once that happens, what, 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 what good are you? That means you just go back into the world. That means you're just a walking what, carcass. A dead carcass. This is very serious. You've got brothers that are sick, poorly. I'm not going to mention the brother's name. This brother's poorly and he still manages to do videos. What a shame to those that are, that are in somewhat good health and are not doing shit. What a shame. Let's go to Baruch 4 and 28. For as it was your mind to go astray. I love this scripture. We went astray before we heard this truth. And sometimes there be moments in the time where we fall in this truth. And that's part of what's part of what? Us going astray. So being returned. So we return me what we woke up to the truth, seek him ten times more. That's double figures. So once knowing you were in the world doing all the wickedness and all that and we still go off. So being returned, seeking ten times more. So as soon as you come to this truth, you should have that mentality. No, I want to seek him double as much as possible. Why don't men have this mentality? Is it just me that sees this or is it other brothers? So come on, just give it all we can, man. Yeah, you pace yourself, your balance, but give it all you can. You know, you, you should know the depths of your own mind. If you're doing enough, you should know that. I, I can't answer that for you. You should know that. So with this, I hope, I hope this is a fine. And until the next time, shout out to the hopeful elect. Shout out